So the first thing that we need to do is create a list of all of our animations that we're going to be playing on our hero character. So let's start with that. So right click, paper set D, and then I want an animation source. BAS underscore hero underscore character. Okay. Save it. And then let's open it. So now that we have it, you can see here it says add new, and we're going to do animation sequence. And then we can call this, for example, idle. And all the way over here on the right, we say you can see animation data. Let's just click on idle. There we go. It usually seems to be for some reason, but there we go. And then you can save that. So we got our idle. Let's do a new one. Let's do walk. Okay, and I want you to do the same for all of your animations. Okay, so as you can see, I've added all of my animations. You should do the same. And each one of them have a different animation. Just make sure they're correct. So once you've done that, we can close this AS hero character. So your animation source. Now that we have our animation source, let's pull those animations into your BP. So let's create something new, which will be the paper CD animation BP. Okay. We're going to tell it that I want to use the one I created. That's where all my animations are. And we're going to call this a BP underscore hero underscore character. And let's save and open it up. So in here, we will not be using event on tick. We will only be using the event on init. So you can delete the event on tick. Okay. To be able to use this, we need to kind of pull the information from a character. So let's start doing that. So we're going to search for a get owning actor. And then we need to cast from here, always pull in. We need to cast to uh, your BP hero. So cast to BP hero character. I also want to be able to connect this to here. Okay. So then it's going to pull it on. And then lastly, we're going to pull from as BP hero and we're just going to promote it to variable. And you can see here it appears. So we can use this on our uh, animations later on. Okay. Right, so let's compile and save. And now we just need to start working on, on our animations. So let's do that. We're going to go into our anim graph. It's still under AD, ABP hero character. So let's go under animation graph. And this is your animation output. So we want to pull from this little guy running outwards. And we want to create uh, where the animations are going to be contained. So let's go at new state machine okay and you can call this whatever you want but for use of ease i'm going to call it movement you can call it locomotion you can call it really whatever you want okay so once we're here we want to be able to pull from our out towards a new animation state and remember most games usually start with an idle animation so let's do that so let's call this state idle so if we double click on this, we're going to pull again and we're going to say play idle. Okay. So now, you know, when you're in idle, you're going to play idle. Very simple. Maybe we want idle to walk. So animation state, let's pull it upwards. And then let's say, I want to play walk. Okay. And also we need to remember to rename it. So let's make sure that we put walk now we're thinking oh there's a new arrow that appear here so yes so this is what's going to tell uh, your bp what's going to happen let's go in here and then we need to tell it how is it going to play it okay so it should be quite simple so we need to get our bp hero so that's our character, the one we created. And we need to tell it, we want to get the velocity. So the speed that it's moving at. So get velocity. Should be at the end. There we go. Let's make a bit more space. 
And then I want to know how long this is going to last. So get a vector length. And then I want to tell it to be able to walk, it has to be greater than zero. So let's just call it that greater than zero. Because if you're walking, it will be one. Okay. And all we're going to do is connect it. And I'm going to press Q. And then next thing I want to do, compile it, save it, but I want to steal this again. So I'm going to control C it for the next bit. Go back one. So we're going to idle to walk, but we also want to go back. And we're going to go from walk to idle. So let's open this. And paste with the one we copied earlier. And this time, we want it, when it's not one, we want it to be able to do idle. So let's pull and let's click on not. And it will be a not boolean. So two values, yes or no, remember? And then we're going to connect it or true or false. Let's press Q because I like them straight. Compile, save. Let me pull it under here. Right. So let's see if he's picking up the uh, walk. So uh, can you see he's not picking it up? And there's a simple solution for that. So if we go to your BP Hero really quickly, if we go to your animation component, can you see where it says animation instant class? Let's make sure that we put the one we created. So AD, ABP Hero character. Compile it, save it. And now let's go back to play. And then you can see, yeah, it's moving. So we got our walk. So let's carry on building that. So from walk now, we want to do the run. So let's pull and do a new animation state. And let's do this as a run. OK, again, let's just open that up. And then let's play run. OK, compile, let's go back. And also we want to be able to go back. So the code's going to be quite similar with just the exception of one thing. So let's have a look at this. So we paste the code, it should be exactly the same. So what's going to be the difference? If we're working at 600, uh, what do we want it to be greater than to start running? So yeah, it will be anything over 600 should trigger the run. Okay, so let's copy this and then go to this one. So from walk to uh, not running anymore. So we're going to need not Boolean. So let's say if it's not greater than 600, then it should go back to walking. Should we test that and see if there's any errors? Let's see, save, play. So we walk in. And you can, you can see it's pulling the walk and then it's pulling the run. So we got a walk, we got a run. Let's go and pull out and let's do another animation state. Your jump, okay? Uh, well, we are on jump. We're going to be able to play the jump animation. So again, always click on play, jump, compile. So once we got a jump connected, then we get our hero. So with a hero, we want to check character movement, get character movement. And then we want to ask the question is, is moving on ground? So we're making sure that it's moving on the ground. And then if it's not, then we know it's jumping. Then we connect that. So that's how we know it's not moving on the ground, right? So imagine if you're going the other way around, when you're going back, then it's going to be the same, but without a knot. So let's compile and save that now. So we got our idle to jump. So now let's move to fall. So a new animation state. And this can be our fall. So what's going to happen when we fall in from our jump? Okay, so let's go on that. First, let's play fall. We're going to get our hero again. We are going to get velocity. But this time I just care about one aspect of velocity. So I only care about the set value. So let's right click and split the structure pins. And here it said, I only care about the set because that's how you're going up and down. 
So we're going to pull that and then we're going to say uh, less than or equal to zero. And then we're going to connect it. We need to start connecting all of the other ones together. So from fall to idle, it's going to be similar to this, but this time it's not going to be not on the ground. It's going to be on the ground. Okay. So I'm just copy and paste in. So we got, right, we got a full circle. Now this gets interesting. We also have to fall towards our walk and we also have to fall towards our run because you could be on that animation state. So let's just connect the same. It should be the same. Okay. So from run to jump. So we're following this one now because we already made it. So let's go from walk to jump. And lastly, from run to jump. There we go. And it's getting a bit uh, messy here. So let's give it more space. So it makes more sense. Right, so let's compile, save, and let's go back to our game. So we're walking, we're running, we're jumping, and then we're falling. Yeah, that, that should be it for this video.